All right, another quick video. Uh, in this one, I'm gonna talk about the new changes to how mortgage fees are calculated. Um, and what's odd about this is if you have a good credit score, you're gonna be penalized, but if you have a bad credit score, you're actually gonna be saving in fees. Um, this becomes effective May 1st of 2023. Um, and we hear there's gonna be additional fee changes later on um, this year. I think it's August 1st. Um, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, it's going to be a quick presentation. I'm going to walk you through this. Thank you. Okay. So, um, in this video, I'm going to walk through this mortgage fee change. Um, uh, so the Biden administration is, this is very odd uh, where starting May 1st, um, if you have a bad credit score, the fees that are calculated when you get a mortgage are going to be less and you're actually going to have larger savings than if you have a good credit score. And if you have a good credit score, the fees are going to increase. Um, this kind of reminds me of back in 2008 and 2009 when Obama came out with the first um, uh, home buyers tax credit. Uh, which I think was around $10,000. And this kind of reminds me of that because um, they're encouraging first time home buyers right now to kind of go out there and, and buy a home. So this calculation is all around this loan level pricing adjustments, the LLPA. And essentially it's a risk based fee that's added to closing costs. So if you ever have bought a home, you kind of looked at your closing costs. Um, this is kind of, you know, part of that. And this helps banks cover any losses on mortgages. Um, like I said, it's the purpose of all this, these, these changes is to encourage first time home buyers, uh, to kind of go out there, buy a home. And, you know, similar to that, you know, first time home buyers tax credit, uh, you know, a decade ago, um, uh, you know, they're, they're saying, you know, your fees are going to be a lot less. So it's one less thing you need to, you know, you know, spend money or you can save on, um, effective May 1st, 2023. And any loans that are backed by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac are going to be impacted by this. So this, this represents about 60% of the market. Um, any additional fees? Yes. August 1st, uh, borrower, borrowers with a 40% debt to income ratio. And then those that have a 60% loan to value ratio are going to be hit with other fees. This was technically part of this May 1st fee change, but with all the uproar on these changes, just in general, um, this has been pushed back to August 1st. So I guess we'll wait and see if, um, if there's going to be any changes to this fee. Um, so kind of using an example here, you take, you're, you're out there buying a, buying a home and you get a loan for $300,000. A credit score, right, of someone that's got 600 as a credit score and they're applying for a loan. Um, the loan that they get is 300,000. Pre May 1st, this fee, right, this loan level pricing adjustment fee, um, would have been 2.75% on a $300,000 loan. That would have been $8,200 that they would have had to pay at closing. Okay. Post May, that fee is now decreased to 1.5% on a $300,000 loan. Um, they would pay $4,500. So in this whole example here, um, this person, if they would have waited till, you know, May 1st and they have a low credit score, right? Um, they would pay $3,700. Uh, or that, that, that would be their savings. So they would pay $4,500. Uh, they would have paid $8,200. So, it, you know, it's a nice savings there. I think what the administration is saying is, hey, you out there and get a loan, you'll be able to save this amount based on these new changes to this LLPA uh, calculation. Now, those that have a good credit score, right? So in this example, let's say someone's got a 750 as a credit score. Pre-May 1st, their fee was 0.25% on $300,000, which equates to 750. Now you can see here in this example, you got a good credit score. You can see that your fee is a lot less than those that have a bad credit score, right? So in this whole change that's happening May 1st, 
Um, you know, the news out there is saying, you know, that they're penalizing people that have a great, you know, great credit score. In this example here, the fee would only increase to 0.375%, right? Um, so this is what they would be paying. So just under $400 more, right? So it's, it's not the best, but it's a lot less than in this example here. And you can still see that by having a good credit score, your fee overall is a lot less. So you shouldn't be thinking, oh, I got to, you know, delay paying my bills. I'm trying to get a low credit score to kind of save on something like this. No, you don't want to do that. You still want to have a good credit score just in general. And you can see here the benefit of having a good credit score is your fee is a lot less. Now you may be thinking, all right, I got a great credit score. How can I somehow not pay this additional fee. You know, there's a, there's a thing of mortgage rate buy down negotiation where you can, you know, potentially have the seller kind of pay for this, especially if you're buying a home that's been on the market for a long time. Uh, that might be, you know, a strategy for those that have good credit scores. So this is, this is going into effect again. Um, you know, what they're saying is you got a bad credit score. You want to buy a house, you look at all the fees. Um, but here in this example here, we'll, 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 you'll be able to save, you know, close to $4,000. So, um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll respond to them. Um, like I said, there's a lot of controversy around this. Um, there's additional fees that are going to be coming on later that were, that was going to be a part of this. Um, so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching and um, I'll be putting more videos out. Thank you.